Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Paris Saint-Germain against Napoli. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Paris Saint-Germain have chosen to go 4-3-3. Well, it's a system that promotes width, Peter. The wide men can stretch the fences and just create that running room for others. next Milik Lorenzo Insigne digs one in and it's Mario Rui and that's a throw Rabio looking to penetrate opposition lines tries lifting it over out wide but the less said about that pass the better Mario Rui Allen plays it out to the wing looks to clip it forward passes it through Hemshik goes to the cross goes for goal that is wayward look it, it was achievable Peter but it needed his best Napoli certainly won't want to look back and, and dwell on that. It was a good chance, though. Room for a shot. Neymar. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Paris Saint-Germain with a decent chance here, and there's little doubt about who... It's hit the upright. Up for a throw. And it's Rabio. Rabio tries to head towards goal. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Keeper goes long. He's left his man. Chance shapes the shoots. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Long and high towards the flank. Going through. He'll have a dip. Saved only by poor finishing. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly not great precision. Rabio. Marquinhos. To get it forward quickly. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Cavani. Well positioned to make that interception. Hampshire. 
Insigne not easily shrugged off the ball. Looks like a good ball through. He's got away. Trout calling for him to shoot. Massive leap! Neymar! Neymar! One of a type! He's brilliant! And they are disappearing out of sight! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Aimed low and direct. Cavani, that is a terrific run. Oh, he's found him in space. And that's been one straight back. Kaya Hong. Now the pass. Kaya Hong is desperately calling for it out wide. Up to meet it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. He has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Mario Ruiz. Napoli, disappointing in the end there, they lack urgency. Now it's Cavani. And it's Neymar. Neymar! Di Maria. And that has been clubbed away. through timely intervention uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there ah oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target no, it's it's Hapshik! oh how good is he he's got himself a pitch of a goal Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. The vision wonderful, the technique perfect. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. That'll be the last act of the first half. Really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Paris Saint-Germain leading by one. Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. Hoists it high. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Gets it upfield. Hampshire. Over to the left. Cooks out to the wing. Now here's the through ball. Well read, he sorted that out. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Goes wide. Di Maria. Shoots! More than happy to take the muscular approach. Milik. Napoli, 
keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Intercepts the throw, that's well read. Marco Verratti. Tries a through ball. Forward it goes. Kaya Hon. Milik, Marquinhos sticks in a foot to win. Yeah, that's back. top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's left his neighbor! Goal! And this is getting better and better. Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. <laughs> Paris Saint Germain take a two goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Milik. Albiol plays it out to the flank. Going through. Out to the flank. Napoli, because though they're about to make a change. Corner, then. Probably beat himself up after that as a sole culprit. Looks to slip it through. Mark. It's Verratti! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Looks like a good ball through. Cavani! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Big chance! They are rampant! And they are pulling clear here. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, this is the last line of defence, and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. Saint-Germain grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Forward it goes. Hamshik plays a clever pass. Marco Verratti. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of... Um, of a, a closer nature. A oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Keeper's got good distance on that. Alan with the ball through. Ayahon looking to get on the end of this. Nicely controlled. Aim low and direct. Breaks on here. It's Di Maria. Can he put it away? Saved. That's good keeping. 
Paris Saint-Germain were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Five minutes left on the clock. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries to dink it in. Insigne looking to get on the end of this. And he's there to cut it out. Marco Verratti. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. And the through ball is intercepted. Kaya Hon. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Cavani. Cavani passes it through. He's left his man. Shot a goal! Gorgeous from Cavani! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Just so calm under pressure. Demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. Sides, in fact, well, a stamina was called into question. The final whistle, Paris Saint Germain, a class apart, opponents torn apart, they are comprehensive.